everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. It is Saturday the 17th of September 2022 and today we are off back to the International Stadium. It is Gateshead versus Boreham Wood in the National League. So how and Gate said and going into this game this afternoon we are obviously as I said the other night in, in the bottom four in 21st place in the National League table. Uh, as for Boreham Woods, uh, they are currently fifth in the table uh, and as we were saying on the podcast that I go on the other day, they are the masters of the 1-0. Uh, they don't score overloads but they certainly know how to do their jobs defensively as well so uh, they're going to be very tough to break down this afternoon I reckon and among that defence is uh, ex Gateshead player Jamal Fifield uh, so it'll be good to see him back at the stadium this afternoon to someone that's well respected by the Heath fans and uh, yeah uh, Luke Garrard uh, has been there for quite a while now and uh, and as you'd expect he uh, gets a lot of respect is sort of universally respected around the world of non-league football uh, so and obviously Boreham well established in this league now we uh, finished their eighth year in it uh, in that time had a few sort of runs to the playoffs and the course last season got to the FA Cup fifth round where they were eventually beaten by Everton uh, I think today's a sort of game where unless there's an absolute hammering dish now I don't think anyone's going to be surprised by the result either way um, I think for us uh, a draw maybe wouldn't be a disaster uh, when you look at the next three games after this main net away easily at home altering them at home uh, tough games of course but um but a run of games where you look at and think and uh really we need to be picking up some points from so if we can go in go into that into those into those games on the back of uh, a pot on the back of plenty of positives from today then that'd be absolutely ideal really uh, I think I don't think it's going to be the best game in the world today I think uh, it could be quite low scoring but if we can find a way to break the uh, stern boring wood defence down then uh, I think we have got every chance really but uh, it's going to be tough but uh, obviously we need to respond after Tuesday night's disappointment Let's head to the National Stadium and find out where it all falls. So the team's warming up, uh, Boreham Wood are getting ready down here. Looks like they're going to be in a train strip of blue this afternoon. And we're getting ready just over there. Oh, 
time Gates says one Boreham would nil. A uh, scrappy game so far, but uh, what a beautiful goal that was to put us ahead. And uh, Lyra Kasani has been excellent in that first half, really. I mean, some of the positions he's been getting into have been absolutely spot on. But on the whole, though, it has to be said, uh, quite is a very scrappy game. There hasn't been that many chances either way. Uh, Boreham would uh, getting a lot of balls into the box and uh, yeah I think they're just trying to see what they can do to catch them out catch us out but uh, but so far we've sort of dealt with everything they've thrown at us and dealt with it quite well I just really hope we can uh, carry it on in the second half but it's going to be tough uh, you can see that they're physically a very big side um, but they but they do know how to work the ball as well so uh, it's going to be the big effort by all needed in the second half but uh we're well in this game and uh hopefully uh, we can find a way to break them down again and uh, i think if we get two and up then that like that might sort of knock stuffing out of them because the question for them then becomes uh what do they do for me because i don't really think they've been in that sort of situation so far this season of this so uh so yeah it's gonna be an interesting second half when there's still a lot to be decided in this. Hi, Tim. Hey, hey. You Another fucking mistake! How many fucking times? How many times? Every goal we can see. Every goal we can see is the same! Three minutes of added time at the end of this game. Time gates said one, Boreham would one. I uh, think fair result on the day. I don't think anyone uh, can come away from that game with any complaints, really. It's just a bit frustrating that once again uh, we've conceded a goal that's come as a direct result of one of our own mistakes. Um, but yeah, as I said, uh, not a lot to complain about either way and uh, to be fair uh, it's not really that bad a point to be honest uh, I think uh, obviously Boreham Wood are a big physical team and got some good players in there and uh, I think up to today they had a perfect away record in the league so, uh, so yeah maybe not, not a bad point and I think they'll be the sort of team that'll be in and around the playoffs by the end of the season uh, it's clear to see why they don't concede that many goals obviously the goal we scored was um was an absolute cracker and that's basically um as good as it gets in terms of breaking them down and we could have so easily snatched it at the end of Adi Yusuf having a shot but a really good save by Nathan Ashmore with his feet um so I think there are positives for us to take from the overall display today in my opinion um obviously now we go into uh, three games made in the other way, the Eastleigh at home, Altrincham at home, uh, all games that you look at and think uh, really at a bare minimum given the position we're in and stuff like that we need to be getting a minimum of seven points from those games uh, but it's not, of course it's not going to be easy I know Maidenhead had a pretty good result today against Woking and on the telly and stuff next week they'll want to um, we want to put on a show in front of their own fans and things like that and after that obviously Eastleigh at home uh, yeah you, you don't know what 
obviously one of those teams that don't really know what you're going to get then after that altering at home who of course uh, yet to the only team in the league that haven't won a game yet so uh, so I think there is results in all three games for us it's just about going out and grabbing them uh, I mean uh, Dan Jarvis was on the bench today so um, I wouldn't, would not be surprised if uh, we see him in action at some point next week whether that's from the bench or whether he's uh, starting a bit frustrating a game of injuries today the Lewis Story having to go off then uh, a bit later in the match uh, uh, Luke Luke, Luke Daly sorry I forgot his name of course he only came in on a 28 day loan today um, but of course next week uh, Owen Gallagher will be uh, back from his bands so there, there is that at least um, and to be fair, I thought uh, Lyric Asani was absolutely outstanding today, so maybe could he be someone that we start to see more of? Um, I wasn't sure about the, the way we set up uh, with the front line today. I think, uh, I think we work better with uh, Blackett and Campbell playing and uh, Diva and having someone for them to run off, whether that be Tom Allen or the Adi Yusuf. Uh, well, Shalom wasn't even in the squad today, so um, I wonder if there's another injury concern there. Um, but, yeah, all in all, not the worst result in the world. But anyway, that is that for this video, and I'll be back on Tuesday with Horden Community, Community Welfare versus Bolden Community Association. So until then, take care, and I'll see you later.